This was like, I didn't recognize Ninja at first. Now I did, especially with the headphones. I was like, what are you listening to? <laughs> Everything <laughs> is the answer. Everything. Do you know what the headphones do? They're sick. Oh. I can basically hear a lot farther than usual. <laughs> It like amplifies your hearing. So what like, do I think you're really <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Xavier over here. <laughs> Is that so like what if like they do flashbang? Like do They'll you, turn off the oh, sound. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Anything over eighty decibels triggers a cutoff. That's, that's a good question. That's so fucking cool. Oh, yeah. That's what they're for. That's more like shooting. That's what they're used for like that's really cool. And so what it dampens the whole rat probably and all of that shit. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, so if they ever use the L rat as an actual weapon, like it, like it could be used to, uh, yeah, you can get those. That's the thing. I need to get a pair of those. I want to get one that are really, really small. So I can hear what cops are saying from far away. So close lots of resources, money. lots of fucking money, lots of people yeah. being able to do it, like millionaires, big corporations, and we're hijacking that shit and taking it to the people. They immediately, like, they immediately ran off their off the kick mouth this version. Like, they went to the moon or whatever with like as many computing as an calculator. Right, so that's like a studio. Yes. Yeah, like the whole news band is right here in a gimbal. And so I was, I was really inspired to like put in like Max Headroom and like that PBS kind of like what's you for viewer donations. Viewers like you to thank you because it's true and it's also cool. 
Yeah, previously we were forced to only believe what we could see on the like on the mainstream media. Now, now we have the ability to take that power back into our own hands. Power to the fucking people. Power to the people. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just so happy. Hold on, pocket, pocket time. Let me guys, let me put you guys in my pocket for a second. Oh, thank you, Lana. Always appreciate you. Like everyone stays separate, and it's like you have to like eventually there should be like independent journalists. Like I mean, there are. Someone waiting on fucking death row for like 20 years, you know, going through some shit. Like, you know, shit. so the thing is that there's lots, there's lots of questions, right? So, so lot as an anarchist, there's a big issue with like monopoly of power and the state holding of monopoly of power. Whether you're talking about laws at the base and enforcing those laws, like a parking ticket, like we saw with the window tinting last night, um, with, uh, you know, fucking selling cigarettes or anything, that can lead to the state fucking murdering it because they have a monopoly of power. And that's a problem, right? You support the idea, but not how they enforce it. You know? Well, well, well that's, that's me, all different like, things. So for me, like we need, like, like we need to have like rules that we agree right? on, right? But that's just community based. Like, yeah. you have a, a state that has a, that's consistently. What well, people don't realize on a day-to-day basis, the, the, the state always has like a game right in our hand, especially if you're PLC, right? And so, hold on. Let me get this here, Ralph. Hey, Ralph, can you hold this? All day, every day, that? you always have a gun aimed at your head by the state because they have a monopoly of power, right? When it comes specifically to the death penalty, there's so many issues, right? Because it's more expensive to put someone through the death penalty than it is to incarcerate them for life. Why? Because if you're going to kill somebody as a, as a state entity, you got to try to make sure that you get it right. So it's expensive. There's appeals, there's lawyers. And despite all that process, all that bureaucracy, all that all that resources going away, all that, all that money that's evaporating or going towards the state, they never fucking get it right. They kill people all the time. They execute people all the time that are innocent. And if one person that's fucking innocent gets executed, that's an unethical practice. We definitely, especially this fucking country, this fucking imperialist colonizing country, has plenty of resources and money to incarcerate someone for life. It shouldn't be an issue. And nobody should be really being incarcerated for life anyway. No one should be fucking being incarcerated. We need to abolish prison. But we're starting here and working down, right? So ethically, there's all kinds of issues there. There's all kinds of issues with incarcerated people, period. So when you go to the furthest length of fucking the state murdering someone in a very methodical and specific way like we're not even talking about a cop who's fucking a pussy and pulls out a pistol and starts throwing bullets right we're not even talking about uh, a state official who hits someone with their car and gets away with it because they're a state official like there's all kinds of shit that we're not even talking about this is a methodical long drawn out process of fucking processing someone to fucking murder them and we and even the fact that we call it execution versus calling it murder is a euphemism it's to get us to not consider that a fucking murder, it's which different. is what it is. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, oh, it's different. The state's doing it. It is a murder. Yeah. It's a fucking murder. A very, Just like overseas when the fucking military and the fucking industrial complex, which I love our vets. I think that there are more victims in, this, uh, in the military industrial complex than, than, than perpetrators. But the military industrial complex does that all day, every day, going overseas in, in the name of fucking liberty and freedom and all this kind of bullshit. And they're murdering people all day, every day. Black and brown people. Why? For lithium, for opium, for, for resources. And so the state has way too much power, and this is a very indicative example of that. That's great. What you thought about the death penalty? Um, well, yeah, this is about Dustin Hicks. Do you know more about him? I don't know. I, I've heard very little, but I know yeah, that he was executed and that he was innocent. Busy, busy DC. Um, 
Or guess what? This happened 16 years ago. So. But yeah, I mean, it's just like that, just like generally, like you need to know case by case. Until they start, you know, considering it. Like, the only people we need to be executing is, like, government officials who fuck us. True. Like, high like treason, high treason, like, like, of death, like, that's, like, the idea of, like, what it's... The like only person in this fucking, like, entire, like, country that really deserves a death penalty right now is the treasonous dumb fuck number 45 who just left office. That's the only person that, if, if, if the death penalty was really ethical and enforceable, it would be someone like him who got into office, profited for himself, fucking changed all kinds of things against the people's will, and changed things for his, for, for the betterment of himself, for, for self-aggrandizement. That's fucking treason. So many levels. Like, On so many levels. It's like, uh, not even, you know, for like the violent people, but just for like the, like, normal people that, like, he got to like donate like five, ten bucks, you know, yeah, it's like creepy stuff that he's been doing for like the past. However long, you know, it's like that's fucking ridiculous. It's like you're like robbing like poor ass fucking Americans. It's like there's nothing great about that. Debbie says know, serial killers should not be allowed to roam free. Uh yeah, you're right. We need to catch those people and we need to stop them. But it's less expensive to keep them, you know, from hurting anybody and in a room, right? Then I just have to fucking kill them. You lose for an eye leaves the whole world blind but it's funny how when people grow up they think of that as kid shit and we forget that that's kid shit because it's supposed to be ingrained in their minds for when they become adults this whole concept of like being ethical or like not just getting revenge and calling it justice is a cycle that we need to break 100 percent. everyone's out for vengeance in this fucking country everybody and then innocent people get hurt like empathy, trying real to kill empathy. Shit. Real justice. Hmm. I mean, I think, like, not to get into it for, like, an offend the religious people, but, like, a lot of it has to do with, like, religious punishment or, you know, like, Catholic punishment type shit. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like people, like, feel it was, it was crazy. like you're yeah, supposed to, you know, like, God, like, smited people or some shit, you know? Like, I don't know. I swear, like, there's something to that, you know? It's like, I personally don't agree with any of that. You know, it's like, uh, you know, like morality, you know, like what is good or, or wrong, you know? It's like, uh, people, you know, consider, they, they think that you should shoot looters, you know? It's like, someone stealing some shit, you know? It's like, they, does that deserve, they deserve to die? You know, like, I personally don't believe in that. Um, We're simply too dumb to have the death penalty. It's true, Dr. Jack, it's true. There's, for all of the resources that are thrown into trying to do it in a, like a good, like a only getting it right way, uh, they fuck up every single time. Nearly every single time. Oh man, Ohio has the penalty, yep. Lots of states do, lots of fucking states do still. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's the way, brother. It's definitely a weird cultural thing. You know, cause then it's like, I mean, at least like, I guess I, like growing up, it, like I'm not sure how it is on, on in Oregon, and, uh, but uh, if someone comes on your property, like I don't, like you're not even really supposed to shoot them. <laughs> Like, but some places in the south, like people kind of get off on that low key, you know. They're like, I wish someone would come on my property, you know. And it's like, I don't have that type of shit, you know. It's like they believe in like executing motherfuckers themselves, you know. And so, it's like, I wouldn't want to end someone, you know. Like, so fuck. there's a comment here from Christy, right, that, where she says. Know, like, if when a serial killer or rapist, a uh, pedophile or pedophile sit in prison, they're not being punished. They get to relive their fantasies over and over again. Head. So why are you so concerned with being punitive to a person? No matter what they did, why are you concerned with being punitive to that person instead of keeping them from harming somebody else? Isn't that the point? Isn't the point to stop further harm from happening? So if they, if, if we are able to contain that, that threat and keep other people safe, why do you then feel the need to go punitive towards somebody sure. that might be innocent? They might be guilty, sure, but they might be innocent. Why do you feel the need to be punitive? In self-defense law, guess what? You can defend yourself. You can throw hands, you can OC spray, you can stab somebody in self-defense if you need to. You can shoot them if you have a complete carry license, right? But you got to answer for that. And you got to explain that you only used enough force to keep yourself alive. 
that you didn't cross that line into just fucking murdering or hurting someone more than you needed to to inflict punishment. That's called punitive, uh, crossing the, the line into punitive punishment. And that will get you fucked up for assault, even if you were in a life or death situation and you were defending yourself. So why does the state not have the same standard? Why does the state not have the same motherfucking standard as us? This is the monopoly of power I was talking about in the beginning. Simple as that. It's <laughs> easy. Came off easy for you. <laughs> I talk. I ran about this shit all day on my live stream. I was gonna say, like, I love that. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> Way better than I could say. <sighs> There's a better way, folks. Always and way, all of yeah. this like talk of like this like mentality of like thinking that the most harsh, the most negative, the most evil kind of thing we could do is the adult way to handle something is incorrect. It's incorrect. Peace isn't pussy shit. Peace is the way that's supposed to go. Yeah. Peace is the way we're supposed to operate. It's law and order. We miss that. Mean? Law and order equals peace. Right? Not people getting gunned down in the street every day. Exactly. Not people getting the fucking electric chair with they still that archaic shit still is in Texas. They're still electrocuting motherfuckers in Texas. We talked about how cruel like the lethal injections are. Think about the fucking electric chair. The first person that they used that on had to get zapped three separate times and they were on fire. When the, when it was all said and done, I know. and y'all are proud of that shit. Someone in here just commented that they're proud that the Virginia Virginia has a death penalty. You're proud of that? Shame on you. Shame. How is that adult shit? How does that make you mature? How does that make you a fucking law and order person to think, oh, the station will murder people? Fuck out of here with that shit. Fuck out of here with that shit. Peace is the answer. Peace is law and order. Peace is the only way that we're supposed to fucking live and survive in this fucking crazy world. And instead, instead, we're focused on fucking creating more division and murdering each other and fucking being okay with the government murdering people. So if you're on the right and you think that death penalty is a good thing, you need to reassess your beliefs. Well, I mean, the guillotine's pretty good. <laughs> like, like we were talking about earlier, the only people that really deserve the fucking death penalty in that way are corrupt politicians. Yes. That's, that's really who it's there for, is for treasonous people. Because treasonous people, in a very under undercover way, have the ability to fucking decrease the quality of life and cause extreme suffering to everyone who's below them. With, an, with a word, with a pen stroke, and in their world, nothing changes. They don't even get to experience the consequences of their fucking, uh, of their fucking movements. We do. And yet, we're okay with them murdering our brothers and sisters and siblings? For what? For what? Because 12 white jurors thought that they were, that they were guilty? I mean, there's like business behind it. It's, it's a business! Yeah, Lawyers! Execution business. Mm. All these privatized prisons, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking people don't even really want to talk about it because it's fucked up. But like, that shit exists, you know? It's like... Even if I killed someone in a self-defense situation uh, and it was justified, I would hate myself. Exactly, Galactic Jack. I'm a fucking Second Amendment person. I believe that everyone should own guns. At the same time, if I ever have to use that shit to defend myself, it'll be the worst motherfucking day of my life. The worst day. I wouldn't want to kill somebody. No, and who does? What kind of fucked up mentality do you have? Have that on your conscience, you know? <coughs> like, you're fucking taking someone's life. That's not, right? There's nothing good from that. It's I could, like, I could they could be like beating your ass, but it's like, like you know, yeah, you, they might have had into myself at the end of the day. I still ass. feel like shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> Maybe. There's a better way, folks. Yeah. And we need to start working towards that. I don't have all the answers. I can see how fucked up everything is around me, but none of us do. And if we start the conversation necessary to find better solutions for these things, the world will only serve to become a better place. It only uh, serves to make the world a better place, rather. Certain controls covered. That's what it is. Isn't that, our, isn't that not our goal as human beings that are contributing to this project of humanity? Is our goal not to fucking make the world a better place each and every day? That's yeah. my fucking goal. Idea. That's why I do this. That's why I fucking like try to build community and things like that. Like, that's why I work on mutual aid. That's why I try to amplify the movement. Like, We miss that. We're supposed to be here to try to make the world a better place and leave our mark. Not by building a giant corporation, not by fucking building up statues of your fucking white ass. Like, no. By making the world a better place for your fellow fucking humans. 
How is that kid shit? How is that kid shit? It gets frustrating for me. I can't comprehend it. It's not hard to be peaceful, people. Seriously. It's not hard to be peaceful. And peace doesn't mean don't break windows. Peace means stop murdering black people in the streets. Like actually, yeah. But it's pretty inhuman. Stop putting kids in cages. Stop putting kids in cages. Stop giving my people fucking hysterectomies against their will. Fucking animals. Don't ban people because they're religion. <sighs> Rose out. I'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you get a no, job. Mike drop. Mike drop. Yeah, I mean, because it's just like you can go anywhere with like the death penalty, you know? It's like. It's fucking. I don't even understand people that really support it. If a it's, pedophile touched my child, I would kill them. I have a friend whose daughter was seven years old. Look, look. When we're talking about these conversations, you need to go to the geez. jump to the harshest thing, right? And trust me, if somebody touched one of my a kid, I, I can't even, I can't even really comprehend that. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I can't even comprehend what that's like because I don't have kids, right? I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. I have no shame in like telling you that. They okay? don't execute rapists though. But if somebody so touched one of my argument. siblings, or if somebody touched someone like one of my cousins. I would want to murder them, sure, but I have enough ethical and moral calculations done in my brain that I understand that that only perpetuates a cycle of violence and negativity that does not serve anyone. Cool. And that them receiving a just consequence is better. And if you understand the mark that murdering someone leaves on your soul, then maybe you would have a little bit of hesitancy. Not for their sake, but for your own sake. And how your mind is going to change. And how your uh, psychology is going to be affected by killing somebody. Killing somebody is not the answer. And if it's in the act, and you can physically ha- like prevent the situation from happening, do it. Do it. If it's ethical and you're able to prevent like, fuck it. I'm not saying don't defend somebody. But if it's like, oh, you hear that someone did, like, what are you going to do, Try go murder them? them? Like, in cold blood? Yeah. No matter what they did, what the fuck are you doing? I know this is controversial. I know people are going to be like, wow, how callous of Rosa. But, like, legit. Legit. Why would you go and murder someone? Murdering, as, as fucked up as rape is, murder is a step higher. Yeah. Now you're going to go murder somebody because you got the green light in your own mentality, in your own brain? So this. Yeah, no, nah. that's not ethical. That's not right. You want to get to know who I really am? Okay with that. Vegan? Hi. Oh shit! Yeah. Save. Yeah. How do you do that? Okay. Oh, this? Yeah. Uh, I just click that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we got the concrete over there. What about just consequences for raping children? I mean. That, like I said, I don't have the answers to where to go from here. I'm just saying murdering someone is less ethical new, new channels, than, any, than, 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 than what they, than, Which you, you can't really argue with. Like murder is a step up. What the answer is, what consequences are actually just, you need to start talking to smarter people than I. But there's people talking about it. There's ethicists. There's people who are involved. There's people who are leftists who have really thought this through. There's a really good video by Sean uh, and also a good video by Big Joel. Who are do, two leftist YouTubers who do really good content, all about the death penalty and why saying, it's unethical. And why is it stupid as a nation to do? Um, and it's worth noting, all everyone who's bringing up like rape and things like that, rape isn't even generally something that you can get, get the death penalty for. for. Like, you, like, so what I are you even talking that, about? Maybe, yeah, but... yeah. So what are you even talking about? <coughs> Trust me. Now, I'm not saying don't go kick the fuck out of them, if you know it for a fact, like, kick the fuck out of them. And it's like what they say about what happens to rapists in jail, you know, it's like, yes, there's something to that. Exactly. You know? yeah. So, let, yeah. let the prison handle it, if, if that's how it is, but I don't know. If that's, that's, a, if that's the situation, prison. yeah, exactly. You know, so it's, it's, like, it's, it's funny because we have to be, you have to talk in the sense of like where we're at now. And this yeah, it's like you're talking about like, and then clarify that we want future, that system gone. But like, how it is, it's not really great either, but yeah. like, that's what happens. For sure, we need to abolish all private prisons Bro, and all prisons, uh, and we need to release the people, and we need to uh, um, exactly. I think honestly, what I think is not only should everyone with a non-violent weed charge be be released, I think they should tax 100% of the profits of everyone who's made money off of legal marijuana so far, especially if they're fucking white, and give that to everyone who's released, split it evenly as reparations. You're getting released from jail for for weed. 
Here's a hundred thousand bucks, courtesy of a white boy down the street who made a bunch of money off selling weed legally. It's fucking horseshit. People are still sitting in fucking prison, and white entrepreneurs are making bank in every legal state right now. Hand over fist, hand over fist, making money. And there's still people sitting in fucking jail for that same offense, for that same plan. Mmm. Y'all got me fucked up. Jesus, this, this jacket's fucked up. <laughs> it's like ripping apart. That's what I guess. Well, I'm from Portland. You spent a year in for. Oh my god. Black the jacket. What? Michigan. Michigan, right? What's that? Yeah, I'm from Michigan. We don't know. Everybody bring it in, yeah. bring it in. It's worth listening to though.
Mike over here. Mike, election, mind you. Um, at that time, I was racially profiled. I was racially profiled when I used to live down south in uh, North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina, mind you. Um, one night, it was me and uh, four, me and a few other friends. I won't, say, I won't say an exact number. Me and a few friends, we was having some drinks at a bar and all that. And, um, <sighs> A random person came up to me. He just came up to me, and you know, you know what? You know what? Get ready, get ready to boo on this. He had a Confederate flag tattooed on his left arm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's all boo together. Ready together now. Boo! Very good, very good. Um, but no, but yeah, it, it was it was terrible. Um, he came to me. You know what he said? He said this. Whoa. President Obama and other black people never existed. That came out of his mouth. And the first thing I wanted to do was just get up and kick his motherfucking ass. I, I, no, no, because I wanted, to, I wanted to beat the fuck out of, out of, the, out of, the, out of that, out of that motherfucker. But I did something a little bit better than that. I just got up, got back to the my car, drove home. When I got home, I was crying like a big baby. And then afterwards, I called my father and told what happened. <coughs> and I told, him, I told him, Dad, I need to move the fuck out of North Carolina because they, they fucking prejudice out there. I mean, it didn't happen right away. It happened like about four years later. Um, but when I, when, I, when I did move back up here, I was I was not I was not only happy I was excited and I felt like I belonged right back where I am, you know. And uh, I gotta tell you, how many how many of y'all have lived or been down south? How many how many of y'all? Okay, all right. You, you know, and y'all know that, it's, that it's pre there's still presence down there. And they still got Confederate flags. Am I right? Because I, 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 I will tell you, if I go back down there again, if I see Confederate flags down there, my ass is, my ass is out of there. And I, can, and I cannot stand the racial issues that's still going on right now. Because, and I'm, I'm, I don't mean to be religious or anything like this, but God loves all his children. It don't matter what color, what color it is. He loves all his children. Amen? Amen. All right. I just want to say this. Don't let nobody, and I mean nobody, nobody. steal your damn joy. Amen. Can I get an amen on that one? Amen. Come on, come on somebody. Love you, brother. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Man, I feel like preaching up here, but I don't want to take too long. I'm <laughs> preaching. So, um, so I just want to say, if somebody racially profiles you, Want, and if you want to beat somebody up, just do the right thing, walk away, and avoid like jail time and all that. Am I right? Because we don't, because we, because God knows we can't, we can't afford to go to jail at this moment. And uh, that's that's just what I want to say to all of you. And uh, because because prior to this, I have not told my story until the Black Lives Matter movement came came out. Last year, and that's what got me to tell my story again. And I'm, and I'm still going to keep telling it and keep telling it. Yeah. Because I'm not going to let nobody stop me from telling it. Because I was going to tell my grandparents that night, but I didn't want to tell them because I didn't want to scare them. But eventually, I did tell them what happened. 
and they were they were they were they were a bit upset. Not at me, but the situation that that happened that night. So uh, just keeping you all in prayers and uh, let's let's get this thing going. Amen. Woo! My name is Chris, by the way, just to let y'all know. still trying to cover everything up. They get a lawsuit saying they did police brutality, treating all the protesters after George Floyd passed like terrorists. They came at us like terrorists. Do we look like terrorists? Hell no. Do we act like terrorists? On no. Monday, March of MLK? No. Peacefully in a public park on the sidewalk? Were we terrorizing anybody? No. The tables are turned. Tables are turned, people seeing the real, they're seeing the NYPD, all the police, all the Imperials, all the white supremacists for who they truly are. They try to cover up, they try to put up these fucking statues, they used to look up at the fucking statues. In the Confederate States, that only had four years, they want to remember that shit forever. They want us to look at that shit forever. But nah, we tear that shit down. You think it's a coincidence how they came at us? With the fucking barricades? I'm gonna call it what it is. That shit's attempted murder. I saw a woman the other night with her head, back of her head, busted wide open. It looked like fucking October 31st. It looked like I walked in a fucking Halloween store. You think they give a fuck about us? You think they give, you think they give a fuck if that lady died or not? They would have covered that shit under the rug like they always do. They cover up all the shit they do. And when you find out, they attack. <laughs> Growing up, I watched the news all my life. I watched the mainstream news, I watched European news, I watched everything. They have a one hour segment, ABC, mainstream media right here, Times Square, ABC, all that, Good Morning America. They try to show you a, an hour long special of how my black brothers and sisters get locked up unjustly, innocent, and they put them on death row. They want to execute them when they're innocent. And they do the research, they get the lawyers, they reopen the case, they open up all the files and find out that they're innocent and they still kill them. And that's in the 90s, that's in the 2000s, that's in the 80s. That shit's still happening. They try to act like this country is progressive, this country for the people, liberated, the land of the free, the American dream. What fucking dream? It's a false dream. It's a false reality they're trying to sell. Come on now. Reach it. Reach it. They just want to make those special so you watch them. So middle America in the South, 
so they can see they plant some little weed, they plant a little cocaine here and there. The war on drugs, fuck that shit, man. They want to sell ads with the tears of the black families and the brown families, and indigenous families that they murdered, that they killed, the souls that they steal. They worried about fucking Soho. They worried about pesos, about the glass that they're gonna fix the next day. They got money to fix all the glass in New York City. Come on now. But they can't pay for the souls that they stole. Yeah. Woo. They can't yes. 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 That shit. Talk your shit. Woo. Woo. I got a couple stick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Chuck. Mike Chuck. Mike Chuck. Say his name. 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 Give me a second, y'all. I was checking news headlines before I came up here. But I read to you guys the news headlines that were released about Justin earlier this afternoon at 1:28 p.m. The first line of this article reads, at 1.23 a.m. on Saturday, the Trump administration finishes 13th and final execution, mm. Dustin Higgs, a black man who had been scheduled to die on Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday was put to death while suffering from COVID-19. Oh, Dustin up. Higgs was just executed hours ago. Oh, man. Trump has been executing people since July of 2020. And he made sure that before he left office, he did as much hurt as he possibly could do to the black community. Yes. Yeah. That was intentional. Shame. 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 So I just want you guys to think of what has been happening right under our noses, right under our fingers, right in front of us. Just because the orange man is no longer in office does not mean that the damage that he has done is not repaired. Just because Biden and Kamala are in office does not mean that the damage is now repaired. I'm going to tell you guys something about Biden and Kamala. How many of you know that Biden has been a senator for longer than some of us have been alive? How many of you know that Biden was a chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee in the 90s? How many of you know that Biden has enacted so many laws against black people to keep us down and out and is now the president? How many of you know that Kamala Harris is a former law enforcement officer? Kamala has a history of sending black people, especially black men to jail for minute offenses, but she is now our vice president. Guys. If you thought we had a problem with the Trump administration, we've got two people in office right now that we've got to keep a close eye on. Yes. yes. I'm going to say this right now, but if y'all think that Biden has truly got an agenda, Biden is a closeted racist. Uh, keep an eye on who you have in office. Do your research. They can say they're quote-unquote progressive, but they've got four years to prove themselves right. A hundred days. <laughs> to prove themselves right. Because not only am I watching, but I know that y'all are watching. I know that the community that has been so deeply hurt by the previous administration is watching. Yes. Yeah. 
There's no reason as to why Dustin Higgs should not be with us right now. Uh, there should be no reason as to why Dustin Higgs was suffering from COVID-19 when there was legal disparities in his case when he was still executed. There's no reason as to why the Supreme Court was publicity and not executed. There should be no reason as to why we have to come out today and have an action in remembrance of Dustin Higgs. There shouldn't have been a Dustin Higgs. All right. Tell him. Tell him. You've got work to do, y'all. You've got work to do. So I'm going to transition real quick and give you guys some notes. Before we take off and I pass this back over to our lovely organizers tonight. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Biggs. Nice to meet y'all. Nice. Yeah. Um, but I'm also bringing you guys some some safety tonight. All right, we're a small but mighty crowd. Okay, so we need to make sure that every one of us keeps ourselves safe tonight. Where are my allies? Are allies raising hands? Take a look around and, and, and take a look at those allies. All right, allies, you can put your hands down. Thank you guys so much. But well, y'all got a job tonight. If you got a black or brown person next to you, take a look at them. Look them dead in their eye. Hey. All right, allies, if you notice that you've got a black or brown person next to you, make sure you get that person's name. Your job is to protect them tonight. Do you understand that, allies? My check? My check? My check? My check? My check? So as we take to the street tonight, I ask that the allies protect black and brown lives tonight. We've experienced violence from state actors. We've experienced violence from non-state actors. We've experienced violence from our own people. And I'm not tolerating it anymore. Come on. With that being said, do we have any medics here tonight? Do we have anyone here tonight with any type of first aid, CPR, AED, first anything aid. of that sort? First first CPR certified. Okay, please take note of these people. For those of you who have been out with us, what is our universal signal for an emergency? Put an X over you. If you see that signal being put over someone's head, you follow that person and you now point to where that X is being signaled so that someone can come over and bring that person some assistance. So if my stream cuts, I guys probably could have been after We do not have a lot of bikes tonight, as you guys can see. There's several of us that are on foot, but we also have bikers. Please, please, please follow the directions of the organizers and the people who are out here to keep you safe. Please, guys. If I'm forgetting anything, please yell at me right now. <laughs> All right. So, Thank with that you. being said, guys, let's have a safe march tonight. Let's make some noise. Woo! Let's remember Justin Higgs. Let's go. Hell yeah. Fuck the police. Thank you, brother. All right, back to our safety precautions. I want all allies to the front, please. Can I have all allies to the front? I guess that's not the front right now because we turn it back around. Oh, but God. Once we do, I want you guys to the front. And anybody who knows they can have a risk of getting an arrest, please go to the front. That means once you're in the front, you can't run. Okay? You can't run. I don't want to see y'all running. Um, I want y'all to see... I want to see true protection of our black and brown bodies here. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so, sorry. Let's get a move on. What do we want? Justice! Or when do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! Or when do we want it? Now! If we don't get it, burn it down! If you don't get it, burn it down!
Bro, says ready, bro, says ready. Ninja was trying to get me to raise my hands when they had to call for white. I was like, Ninja, what the shit? Yo, watch out, yo, yo. Ella, yo, Ella came back outside, man. Y'all give it up to her, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
have got to go. Black 
lives matter. Black women's lives matter. Women's lives matter. Black men's lives matter. Black men's lives matter. Lives matter. Black gay lives matter. Black queer lives matter. Black queer lives matter. Black queer lives matter. Like inmates lives matter. Like inmates lives matter. Like inmates lives matter. Like inmates lives matter. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. These racist cops have got to go. These racist cops have got to go. We better burn this system down. We better burn this system down. These racist cops have got to go. These racist cops have got to go. We're gonna burn the system down. We're gonna burn the system down. Run these racists out of town. Run these racists out of town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch twelve. Watch twelve. Fox 12. We said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fox 12. I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fox 12. We said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fox 12. A, C, A, B. All cops are bastards. A, C, A, B. All cops are bastards. All cops are bastards. A C A B. 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 All cops are bastards. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No peace. No peace. We said no justice. No peace. No peace! No justice! No peace! Fuck no no these racist ass, ass police! I said no justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Fuck no these racist ass, ass police! We said no justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Fuck no 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 these racist ass, ass police! I said no justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Fuck these racist ass police! If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, burn it down. If Dustin doesn't get it, burn it down. If Brandon doesn't get it, burn it down. If Corey doesn't get it, burn it down. I said if we don't get it, burn it. Every city, every town. Burn the bridges to the 
This is your fight too! 
peace. Fuck these racist ass police. We said no justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Fuck these racist ass police. If Justin doesn't get it, burn it down. 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 Say his name. Justin Hayes. Say his name. Justin There you are, come on, man. Hey, what are you guys doing? Listen, we gotta, listen, we gotta always be in front of us. Like, we should not be here. Just wanna make sure you're okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's make sure we're good. Alright.
Come on, Ralph, hurry up. Oh, street. 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 Fox News. Fox News. Fox News. 
Fox Fox News. I don't know what you've been told. Racist cops have got to go. We're gonna burn the system down. Listen to them and you'll understand. No justice, no peace. You got extra sick? Yeah. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No no peace. Finally got warm. My hands were like fucking ice cubes. <laughs> Justice, no peace. You got lighter? Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> Aaron, you're holding it? <laughs> yeah, hold on. How much did that run you with? Uh, a lot of money. Oh yeah, it does. There's a heart in that building right there. Yeah, I don't know if they did that on purpose, <laughs> but that's like almost the perfect part. Lit up on the hills and builds it. The hills and build it. Oh, no peace. No 
peace. Go peace. Fuck these racist ass baldies. Oh shit, we got Tomorrow now. Tomorrow now. Tomorrow now. We'll never be defeated. We'll never be defeated. We'll never be defeated. We'll never be defeated.
Protesters in the first place. Like nobody's doing anything wrong.
Abolition! 
it goes Keep on. Keep it calm. Exactly. We got to go on because this fight is never over. Period. It's never over. We, we outside. Fight, 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 you bitch we ass outside. Nigga. We outside. 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 And that's on real talk. Fuck my dick. Say that. Say that. Before you lock a nigga up, suck his dick first. Ha ha ha. and knowledgeable, period, periodically. You will not attack black men no more. You will not police brutality towards black men no more. You will not kill black men no more. You will not attack peaceful male protesters for speaking their point of view and point of mind. Yes! Period, periodically. You will not get away with murder. Period! Mr. James got a lawsuit against y'all. Don't think other legislators don't got a lawsuit against y'all. Y'all need to stop it and cut it out. Pretty soon there will be no Republicans in the house. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not, come on. You better. <laughs> you better go in. Yo, Mike Check. 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 Yo, we're missing. A, okay, this is this is really important, bro, because I saw this today. We are missing a black trans woman. She got she got missing two days ago in the Bronx. Her name is Maya Brown. If you look on my Instagram, it's a page of her. Oh, uh, her name is Maya Brown. She's been missing for two days. The police has the report of it, but do not want to find her. We do not want to put Maya Brown in the list of the black trans women who has been killed. We have to find her. So if you look up on the internet, look it up. Maya Brown, black trans woman, missing in the Bronx. We got to find her and send her home. Because we're not having another black trans woman die tonight. Yes! Thank you! Yes! 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 <laughs> we were marching till we win justice. 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 Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Until we win, justice, justice. We will march until we win. 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 Justice, justice. We will march until we
Sound like a right winger, Sherry, and uh, that's definitely far from the truth. You don't think anything's gotten done because of protesting? You don't know shit. Burn it down! What do you mean? They don't want to see black men and women, black trans, queer, and lives murdered in the streets. What do you mean? What do they want? They want the people, the people that have been murdered, the black community that have been murdered in the streets. They want justice for them and their families, obviously. So. Let's go. 
argue that in the comments. What, what justice would they like to see? Why don't you argue That's that in the comments? Give a nice little debate going. Right now we're focusing on the police murdering people. That's what we're focusing. That's what we're focusing on. Abolition now. Abolition now. Start killing people. I said abolition now. That's tomorrow now. I said abolition now. That's tomorrow now. Abolition now. Abolition now. That's tomorrow now. Sorry, you, you feel that way, Will. Ah, you better not reach for that gun. <laughs> she looks so harassed. Yeah, look at she face. She's scared She's really <laughs> turned on the side. I'm just gonna be uncomfortable. You like being cuddled? You feel good? How do you feel being cuddled? The more just moving. You can stay if you want, but the more just moving. Just as at least. Just as at least. Just as at least. <laughs> I got the soup. I got it in my backpack. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. Police. 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 
Say 
Justin Higgs. Say his name. Justin Higgs. Say his name. Justin Higgs. A little louder. Justin Higgs. A little louder. Justin Higgs. Say his name. Justin Higgs. Say his name. Justin Higgs. Justin Higgs. A little louder. Justin Higgs. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. These racist cops have got to go. We're gonna burn the system down. We're gonna burn the system down. And run these racists out of town. And run these racists out of town. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. These racist cops have got to go. These racist cops have got to go. We're gonna burn the system down. We're gonna burn the system down. We're gonna burn the system down. Fuck Donald Trump! <laughs> I got that on my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah. John, what's up, buddy? <laughs> this is, uh, by the way, this is John Sue for the family from. Uh, is it, I keep forgetting. Michigan. Like Michigan. I keep missing uh, Michigan and Wisconsin for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, he's another streamer that, uh, you know, I don't think we have a lot of uh, Michigan. Was it Detroit? You are Lansing, yeah. Lansing? Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, I know there's uh, Rob Baker. He's up there in Detroit, I think. I don't know if you know him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. But, yeah, um, I know so ch check him out. Follow him. John Soup for the family. What do you stream on? John Soup for uh, the family. The family. <laughs> the family Soup TV. The Family Soup TV. That's a new page. Family Soup TV? Yeah. No family shit. Family Soup TV, guys. <laughs> yep, yep. Family Soup TV. Is that on Twitch or? Uh, it's, on, it's on Facebook. Facebook, gotcha. Yeah, I'm on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube. Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Family Soup TV. Check, Somebody check, said check hi. Check them out, hi, check them out, especially guys. if you want to check out some stuff in Lansing, Michigan. We don't have a lot of streamers from there, so. We can have body together. What did I tell you? Hello. There you go. Can you get that on your camera? Oh, yeah. There you go. The Family Soup TV. Check yeah, that's a new page. <laughs> the other one got banned. The Family Soup TV. Yep. Yeah. I just wanna wanna promote other streamers and other. Go! Everybody, bring it in. Bring it in. Put your fist up. Punch chest. Everybody, come around here. Come around here. Move up five feet. So, Moody is about to do a uh, true Trump, uh, true. This is going to be a family portrait, okay? <laughs> Trustful. 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 All right. We got pull you. Pull your flags up, pull your signs up, and otherwise pull your fucking fist up. Yeah. Yeah. Left fist. Left fist over y'all. Sharpie. All right. in a minute. <laughs> 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 
I put that on there. Check it out, you guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> guys. It's a new new page. New page. The other one got banned. Michigan. <laughs> if you want to check him out, he's streaming Mike Michigan. Mike check. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out, guys. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Before we end, there's a few more people who want to say a couple more words. I just want to say that I have full faith to you guys. We did that shit. I am proud of every single one of you. Telling them get off my sisters and my brothers. Period. Periodically. Uh-huh. <laughs> I went through an anxiety attack. Cut out. One of my moments. Like, don't attack my black and brown live matter sisters. Don't attack my white sisters that are allies that support us. How dare you attack women, law enforcement groups, as male 
law enforcement. Yes. Shame. Shame. You women, Shame. law enforcement groups, ought to be ashamed of your fucking self. Yes. Shame. All right? For letting these male officers put their hands on us. As black and brown women. And as white allies that support us. I feel that no man for law enforcement groups should put their hands when they're arresting women. They should not put their hands on us physically, mentally, or sexually. Period. Period. It's like they get enjoyment and pleasure out of locking trans women up. They get enjoyment and pleasure out of locking heterosexual and lesbian and bisexual women up in the United States of America. Keep your hands off of women. Period. Periodically. Keep your hands off of us women. I do not like a male officer grabbing me by the titty. I do not like a male officer grabbing me by my arm, grabbing me by my legs, or throwing me down to the ground for not attacking them. Just for speaking up for my black and brown lives, brothers and sisters, and my ally, white brothers and sisters that support us as white allies. How dare you? How dare you attack me? You got a lot of lawsuits against y'all now. You're about to lose your jobs. Because we got your badge numbers. We got your faces. We got your names. We got it all out there for the courts. <coughs> Photorized pictures and films. Hello. Hello. And your conversations about attacking us as Black and Brown Lives Matter protesters, period. Periodically, mm -hmm. I need to say, white supremacists that are not white allies, your lives don't matter. You attacked the Capitol. You should be in prison and jail right now. But when it comes to Black and Brown Lives Matter, rallying, protesting, and marching in New York City, we are attacked by the police. But when it comes to Donald Trump supporters, or when it comes to Republican supporters, or when it comes to white supremacists attacking black and brown people, we don't matter, right? Well, we do fucking matter. And we're going to fight and march until we win. Because we're not taking no shit from the white supremacists that are prejudiced towards us anymore. I may be a light-skinned Puerto Rican white Negro, but let me tell your asses something. I am not pure white, motherfuckers. So stop as white supremacists trying to kiss my ass. I heard y'all talking about Black and Brown Lives Matter in your restaurants. I heard y'all talking about me as a protester, saying I'm crazy. All right. I'm not crazy. No, I'm very smart and intelligent mm -hmm. yeah. and street wise and street smart and street intelligent. Mm -hmm. I watch everything that you law enforcement groups do. I listen to everything that you law enforcement groups are up to. I watch and I see and I learn and I listen. Mm -hmm. And I tell my black and brown lives matter sisters and brothers. And I tell my white allies what's going on when I see y'all trying to make a turn towards us. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I don't bite my tongue, I speak the truth. Yes. I speak the truth of wisdom. I speak the truth of knowledge. I speak the truth of courage. Because I have courage. Yes. I speak the truth for my people as protesters, period, periodically. I speak the truth about how rapes, torture, molestation, and sexual harassment by law enforcement groups and murders and police brutality needs to stop, even in the correction facilities. I do not blame no black and brown live matter inmates for nothing. I blame the law enforcement groups for people being victims in prisons and jails of rape and torture and molestation. I blame the system of Rockers Island I blame the system of the boat in the Bronx. 
I blame the system of the bookings. I blame the courthouses for not doing nothing about it. When you listen to our stories and hear our stories, they're harsh. They're sad, <coughs> And they're ridiculous, what y'all do to us. You know what I mean? But y'all not gonna get away with murder no more. White supremacists, you will not get away with murder no more. Because new Democrats are in town. And hopefully, they will make a change for all the black and brown lives matter and all the white allies in our community that support us. Hopefully, they will be changed. Change all over the United States of America, not just New York City. Because prejudice and white supremacy needs to go and needs to stop. They need to be locked up in prisons and jails for killing and murdering people, okay? Why is it that a black man has to be executed or a Hispanic man has to be executed, but when it's a white man, they get to live their lives? White organic. supremacists. They give them organic food. Yes. Why is, it that, why is it that innocent lives are taken each and every day and executed? Why is it that innocent lives our black and brown lives matter are taken in jails and prisons each and every day. Why is it that black and brown lives matter are taken, their lives are taken by law enforcement groups, NYPD, detectives, all that, every each and every day? Why is it that parolees and parations lives are taken every day? That are black and brown lives matter. We need a system that can work for us. Yes. All over the United States of America, these systems need to work for us. They need to be trained, educated, knowledgeable. No white supremacists should be working a job nowhere in the United States of America if they're racist. No white supremacists should be working, running a program or agency or organization if they're just about money and clients and service. Okay? No white supremacists would take over the United States of America. Not no more. We're not taking it. We're not having it. We will march. We will rally. We will protest until we win. Justice. I need to say for my black and brown trans sisters that have been murdered, Hispanic, biracial, black, and immigrants, enough is enough. Trans, black, and brown lives matter all over the United States of America. Yeah. I need to say also for our brothers and sisters, just because they wear a blue bandana, a red bandana, a yellow bandana, or any other type of color bandana, they are human beings too. Yeah. Treat them civilized with respect. Because honey, back in the days, it was different for them. You don't know about them. They were about unity. They were about all that. They were about protecting people. These bandanas. These people are protecting us today as trans black lives matter. These people are protecting black gay lives, trans lives, and they're protecting heterosexual lives of women and they're protecting all of our lives as black and brown lives matter. They're even protecting white allies. So do not judge these fucking bandanas. Okay? Whether they're white, black, or Hispanic. Do not judge the bandanas of blue, red, yellow. Understand it. Know it. Okay? They are not criminalized. Criminals. Criminals. They are not to be decriminalized. There are people and human beings. They have kids, they have wives, they have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends. Every life that is a black and brown life matters except the police. Law enforcement group, black and brown lives don't matter. They work for the system. They work for the white supremacists as slaves. When are they going to fucking get it and stop attacking us? When are they going to march and rally with us? Hello, come together. They're just in the uniform with a badge, so they think they're better than us. Hello? 
come together. And they're no better than us because they got a badge and a uniform. I need to tell you that the blue uniforms of law enforcement groups and the white uniforms and the black uniforms of law enforcement groups don't matter. We matter yes. as black and brown lives matter. In our black outfits, in our brown outfits, in our white outfits, okay? In our purple outfits, in our red outfits, blue outfits, or any uniform color that we wear as black and brown lives protest because our lives matter. So I need to end with this. No justice, no, no peace. peace. Fuck these racist ass no police. police. No justice, no, no peace. I also need to say, fuck Donald Trump Towers. 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 And fuck Donald Trump and every Republican elected official. Sorry. Biden right for Kamala. Joe Biden, we hope KB, that you will YouTube. protect us and we hope that you will come out here to New York and march with us. Letitia James, we hope that you will come out here in your mask and march with us. <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Bryan, Benjamin Bryan as an African black man, we hope that you will come out here and march with us. Yes, Benjamin Bryan, this is Josephine, you know me well, and I'm speaking. I'm sorry to come out here and march with us. Also, Bill Perkins, you say you support the trans community, support black and brown trans lives matter. Come march out here with us, Bill Perkins. Corey Johnson as a white man, gay white man, coming out here, you need to come out here and march with us if you say you support the trans community. The trans, black and brown lives matter is inclusive, Corey Johnson. We need to ask all your elected officials as Democrats and Republicans that say that you support us as black and brown lives matter and that say you support the trans community. Also, you need to put an inclusive in there. Inclusive of trans and black and brown lives matter. I end with that. Yeah! We're gonna hold space for one minute. Um, so, whosoever megaphone this is, can you come get it? I want everybody to put their fists up and take their lights out. We're gonna have a one minute moment of silence for Dustin Hayes, and then we will disperse. Everybody, take out your cell phones, put it on bright. Since it's too windy for a candle, we're gonna fake candle it. I'm gonna turn my flash on.
Like as many as New York um, events as I could. You know? I'm just gonna take a picture of it for right now. Right, I'll take care of it later. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and and say hi. That way I know it's you. You know. All right, yeah. Because sure, so sure. many like you know how it is. So many crazy people follow me. So many bots and all types of haters. So no, I'll say hi and I know it's you, right? I'm with these uh streamers. Cool, cool, awesome. Y- y'all be safe, right? All right. Safe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We, we keep each other safe. <laughs> you guys, the energy out- outside tonight was amazing. The comments in the chat were not so good, but um, if you guys want to say one more fuck you to Trump Tower before we take off, there's now's your chance. Fuck Trump. 